everybody. I am Buckley Hammond with Insure Sales Live, and I am here with the famous Terry Raphael. And uh, we're about to learn a little bit about where he's at in his life, what he's doing uh, in the insurance industry. Uh, maybe he's got some insights that he can show us from his perspective. And uh, we're just going to figure out uh, what's going on in your life right now, man. So tell me, Terry, where are you from? Originally, I'm from Lynn, Massachusetts. Lynn, Massachusetts? Lynn, Massachusetts. Lynn, Massachusetts. Yeah. And now you're in Dallas. Correct. All right. All right. That's yeah. beautiful. How long have you been here? For a year now. Oh, uh, one year? Okay. Yeah, one year. So tell me, you have an agency, correct? Correct. So tell me how that started for you. Well, it started off about a year ago. Um, solo producer um, okay. in the insurance space and working my way up just to kind of learn the ropes. So I started off just starting to work with insurance understanding the products starting with final expense originally okay. and then I opened up understanding oh wow there's different areas within this space didn't have any any experience or much didn't know too much about the insurance insurance area prior before sure but I knew that I wanted to do something with it after finding out more about it so that's been uh, one year right correct wow that's amazing so yeah. what what are the challenges that you went through and uh, in, in trying to discover and learn about the insurance company and, and what niche you wanted to pursue? Well, the challenges has been, one, first understanding more about the product, understanding more about the people, what is it exactly that what they want, of course. finding that right solution for them, and making sure I deliver the proper products to them. So once I understood that, it made things a little bit much more easier, and it now it's just more of getting to help as many people as possible. That's beautiful. So uh, you're a writing agent right now. You're, you're writing policies. Yes, right? correct. Um, and um, tell me, tell me what has been kind of the biggest struggle for you um, as far as uh, maybe finding clients or or being able to close clients. You have like a, a, a difficulty that you've been working through. Yeah. Well, it's actually pretty much both areas, a little bit more of finding those clients and of course not all clients is going to close. Um, so I'm working to continuously work on closing the clients and finding more. Beautiful. There's billions of people in this world so it's not a hard thing to do but finding the right, the right people at the right time and delivering what they need uh, right. to help them out is in their best possible way. Is there a specific niche that you're uh, focused on? Uh, any kind of like groups of people or anything like that? Yeah, mainly uh, people who are wanting to have saving on their retirement and also for those who are also struggling with their debt as well. So that's my specific niche at this moment is helping the clients out to get out of debt and finding the proper way to help them out with their retirement savings. That's, that's beautiful. So you're a brave man. You jumped in head first into the insurance industry and then uh, you're kind of working your way through trying to figure it out. Um, tell me, what was it about the industry itself that appealed to you? Well, it started off, what really appealed me is having the actual experience of knowing after having a loved one, my brother, having to pass away and at the time, my mother thought that she had insurance on all of her children, which she did but she just did not know that when my brother had passed away, that policy was no longer in place. And so, oh wow, yeah. And at that time, I did not really know too much of how insurance worked. And so it was, I felt it was my duty to find out a little bit more about it. And where did, where did that fall? What happened? why that insurance policy was not in place and how did my mother was not, why was my, my mother not informed. And so after having those conversations and understanding that what life insurance is supposed to do and what it, it can do, it did, the policy did what it's supposed to do but it just happened to last because she just was not aware. So I take the full responsibility now to make sure that my clients are aware of what type of policy, what type of product that they are utilizing, yeah. and making sure that keeping them up to date with the policy. Wow, that's, that, that is uh, moving. I mean, it's, 
it's you know it's terrible that you had to go through that experience. But uh, you know that's important that, to see that you that you had a personal experience where where you saw the effect of insurance in your life, and now you know how it affects others. And so you were going out there to the world, and you were working on trying to uh, make sure that everybody that needs insurance for those specific experiences that you went through uh, has the opportunity to, to have. So we're here at the uh, 8% conference and um, I know you probably heard a lot of uh, inspirational things and a lot of functional things that you might be able to do to help your business in your life. Uh, maybe you can share a couple of those with uh, with our audience, Whatever whatever's resonated with you. Um, anything you, you might, you're going to go out and implement this year. Yeah, definitely. So there were some, some great high points. Uh, one of my main takeaways is understanding that at the end of the day, yes, we are living. Go out empty. Every day, live up to your fullest. Everybody's going to die some sometime. We are in an amazing industry and understanding that we all going to die. Do not take no. Don't let somebody else's no define the next yes. Wow. So... I have to continue to keep it pushing, keep it moving, and not to allow somebody else to stop me from doing, helping others as much as possible. Wow, that's profound. Well, thank you. You heard it here. Carpe Diem sees the day. And uh, as well as don't let other people's negativity, don't let their, their no like put you down and keep you from like, your momentum and moving forward. Correct. Right? So that's Absolutely. what you're going to carry with you into the next year. Absolutely. Into your successes, right? Absolutely. So why don't you tell our audience for anybody that uh, can get in touch with you or, or would like to contact you, whether they need uh, some help with insurance or if, if maybe they, they'd like to be in touch with you for any reason, how to reach you and, uh, and how to make contact with you. Yeah, absolutely. So you guys could definitely reach me, um, find me. You can call or text 818-860-3297. Or you could also send me an email, um, great at email, tRaphael, that's T-R-A-P-H-A-E-L, at ExperiaFinancialGroup.com. Well, there you have it. Thank you again for sharing your experience with us and for, for giving us some insights on the, on the how you're operating and your, your motivations for being in insurance. I really Absolutely. appreciate you uh, taking the time to, to be with us and to share your insights with our, uh, with our audience. So. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks a lot. All we'll right. see you guys next time.